Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to see how can we create ERD and DFT diagram with the help of ChatGPT, Marmaid and Dor.io. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about the review of the complete bootcamp of Java. If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now in this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. Firstly, we are going to need a use case sample or a scenario. So I'm considering a gym management system here. So first of all, navigate to chat.openai.com to ask ChatGPT the use case scenario about gym management system. So I'm going to type prompt right here. This is my prompt. Give me a use case scenario in paragraph form about gym management system. ChatGPT generated a well-structured use case scenario about gym management system we can also extract those actors by asking ChatGPT. but for now we are going to generate a diagram for a erd of gym management system we are going to use marmaid.js and draw.io secondly you have to type a prompt asking ChatGPT to give code of marmaid.js for creating erd of a gym management system this is my prompt give me marmaid.js code for creating erd of my use case scenario next you have to copy this code and navigate to draw.io in case if you don't know about draw.io it is a diagram creation tool for erd databases and class diagram etc so what you have to do next is to click on new and click on blank diagram and click on create you will see a menu bar here where you can find new open from open recent functions and save your file from here it provides you a bunch of tools to deal with the diagrams at the right side of this screen you can see there is a sidebar which provides a styling for an appearance customization of your diagram at the left side you will see diagram tools for creating diagrams it has many shapes like circle lines and curve etc you can find various types of shapes for your diagram including erd for database data flow diagrams etc what you have to do next is to click on arrange and go to insert from there you have to go to advance and you will find marmaid.js right here click on this and paste the code that you have copied from chat gpt click on insert to generate the diagram here you will see that draw.io have generated a diagram from the ChatGPT code, you can customize this diagram according to your needs. Stop start. You can also change the appearance of this ERD. You can double click on the entity name to customize this name. For example, if you want to change it from customer to user, you can double click on it and type your desired name. Below is the attributes and you can find those attributes data type and their attribute name. You will find a relationship between entities, for example, user can enroll in membership and user can register for classes and user works with personal trainer or you can say that customer works with personal trainer each entity has its own attribute which can be easily customized by double clicking on it if you want to change the color of this you have to select this entity and navigate to the side menu which exists in your right side of the screen and click on the color to choose from it do this for all the entities so it will not look awkward you can easily export this diagram by clicking on export as png jpeg and svg pdf etc for now i'm going to select png you can also select jpeg if you want to clicking on png it will ask the zoom size border width and size which is specifically for diagram or page so i'm going to select diagram which is by default selected you can also transparent the background of this image if you want to you can click on export to export the diagram here you can select the name of this diagram so i'm going to type erd you can also select the location if you want to store it in your google drive you can select this google drive or onedrive etc for now i'm going to save this file in my device click on save and it will download the file thirdly i'm going to ask about the dfd for this use case scenario like i did with the erd for this, I'm going to type this prompt. The prompt is give mermaid code for DFD level 0 diagram for my use case scenario. If you don't know about DFD, it has many levels like level 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Each level breaks into more elaborative diagram. So for example, if we are going to ask for le level 0 diagram, it's going to 
give us a simple diagram but if we are going to ask for level 1 diagram it will break the level 0 diagram further into sub processes for now we are going to go for level 0 diagram and then level 1 diagram i'm going to copy this code and navigate to draw.io and click on new to create a new blank diagram i'm going to do the same that i did for erd i'm going to click on insert and navigate to advanced and from there i'm going to click on mermaid you have to paste the code that you copied from chat gpt and click on insert to generate the diagram you can see that it has generated a dfd level 0 diagram which can also be edited by draw.io by double clicking on it you can also change the color of those boxes for example you have, you have to select this and click on the color that you want to select and do the same for all of them let's ask for level 1 diagram I'm going to type the prompt. The prompt is give me Mamed code for DFD level 1 diagram for my use case scenario. This diagram is going to differentiate between level 0 and level 1 diagram. And you will see that level 1 diagram is more elaborative. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to click on arrange and go to insert and from there navigate to advanced and then Mamed. I'm going to paste the code that I copied from ChatGPT and insert the code to generate the diagram. You can see that how elaborative this diagram is. And you can also see the difference that this one is the level 0 diagram and this one is DFD level 1. It breaks these processes into sub processes to elaborate it more. And if you are going to ask for level 2 diagram, it will break this level 1 DFD into more elaborative sub processes. You can easily customize this diagram by double clicking on it or you can also customize the alignment and fonts etc. So this was all about today's video. If you have got any questions about these diagrams or if you are getting any syntax error in Marmaid.js or in Jot.io, you can comment in the below section so that I will answer those questions and help you to solve those errors. Thank you guys for watching.